All right, everyone, come on in. Type one when you can see me. We are doing the Chosen Season 3 tonight. We just go live here. We have no intro, no countdown. We're just starting off right away. So that means I have no intro to share, to post, to do any of that. And uh, I got to wait for you guys to jump in. So here we go. Already 400 of you. Listen, I thought nobody was going to be on this broadcast. I'm like, it's Christmas Day. No one's going to be here. It's going to be 50 of us, but we're still going to watch it. We can't get off track with the Chosen. We are on Chosen Season 3, Episode 3. It just released two minutes ago. Two minutes ago to the public, and we're going to be watching it here. So let me know where you're watching from. I know many of you are watching with friends and family. Hello to your living room, all of you that are watching with friends and family. Merry Christmas. If you're a Grinch and you're like, I hate Christmas, then just you're just celebrate ce celebrate not celebrating Christmas by yourself, okay? You don't need to come spam the chat. If you start spamming scriptures and try to come blast the ch chat here, we're just going to ban you. So just be civil, be respectful. If you're convicted about celebrating Christmas and you're not, then celebrate, or let me say it again, don't celebrate by yourself. Okay, do it by yourself. You don't need to try to drag everyone in it with you. Merry Christmas to all of you that are celebrating the birth of Jesus. We know he was not born today, but we celebrate today as his birthday. Amazing time in church. We had a candlelight service, sang a bunch of amazing songs, and it was a good time. So if you're here, type one in the chat. Let me know where you're watching from. Be excited. I'm excited to go live on Christmas Day to watch the new season of The Chosen and the new episode. So we're going to give everybody 30 seconds. 30 seconds here to jump in and then we're starting we're not gonna wait five minutes ten minutes no intro you can share you can like you can do all that stuff and then we're gonna go ahead and start when was he born nobody knows nobody knows when he was born spoiler alert it's not in the bible what day or month he was born so that is that it's not really snowing in my office okay i know a lot of you thought you said oh man you must be streaming outside you know the, the snow is so convincing to you but you know it's just a little green screen effect here Okay, here we go. Welcome a thousand people already. This is crazy. I thought no one was going to be here. Every time I think no one's going to be on the stream, there's a bunch of people. So welcome. Let us get started. Let's turn the music off. Uh, let's turn the snow off. Boo. Let's turn the snow off. Let's turn the chat off. I know it's sad. Let's shrink me. And then let's start the chosen. Let me make sure everything's good. We're doing subtitles. If you're like, why is there subtitles? Because we took a vote and like 80% of people wanted subtitles. A lot of people watching English is not their first language and they have kids as well. So we are doing subtitles. So let us subtitles jump in. A lot of people watching English is not their first language and they have kids as well. So we are doing subtitles. Oh no, there we go. Spam those ones in the chat. I'm excited. Let's do it. Jesus, hey. I think sometimes we forget Jesus was a baby at one time. That's pretty crazy. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks for being here. A little bit of snow in the intro. Okay, okay. See, Dallas, you could hire me to edit your videos. I'll add snow for you. Look at that. No, I added the snow. That's not part of the show, okay?
1,200 people. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you just come in? You know you can just come in. How was your journey? You look tired. Are you hungry? Yes? Let's sit and eat. Okay. Come on. You can just set your bag down there. Okay. We'll eat first, and then you can go to bed. I'm sure you're exhausted. Hala mm. is hot and ready. Your timing is perfect. It's delicious. Did you have a good journey? Yes, it was fine. I saw that the uh, brown dog wasn't at the city gate when I got in. Did something happen to him? He died. Oh. oh. Several months ago. That would explain it. You know, I can't remember a time when I walked through that gate in the last 10 years and he wasn't there. Just being ignored by everyone who walked <laughs> by. Sit, sit. Oh. It's not perfectly round. I've never been able to do it perfect, but the raisin is cooked in nicely. Uh, raisins. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. But it's for a sweet new year. Mm. So hush. Blessed are you, you, Lord our God, King, King of the universe, universe, who has kept us alive, us alive and sustained us, us and brought, brought us to this holiday season. season. I knew Jesus didn't like raisins. Mm. Just saying. So no James and Jude? Well, they felt it was best to celebrate in Sephoris while you were here. Just to avoid conflict. I understand. I think it's just hard on them. Especially with so many people here, excited to see you. Everyone's been hearing about what you've been doing, the signs and wonders. And you know how the boys feel about all that. I understand. But we'll have a lovely time. Mm. How's the bread? It's delicious, even with the raisins. <laughs> <laughs> So, tell me about how your students are doing. Each one of them, I want to know what to pray for. Oh, Ima, I, I, I don't know that I'll have time to tell you about every single one of them. I, I'm ready to collapse. Fine, just tell me about your five favorites. Ima, I don't have favorites, you know that. Of course you do, admit it. <laughs> Why don't you tell me your favorites? The them? women. Yeah, that didn't take long. Mm. And Z, because he'll protect you. Really? <laughs> hmm. Anyone else? I'm teasing. I love them all. Is anyone troubling you? How about Andrew? How's he doing? He wasn't doing well when I was with them. He's fine. Our boy John set him straight. Mm -hmm. Actually, they're all doing quite well right now. I've sent them out on missionary journeys to our people, mm -hmm. doing signs and wonders of their own. Well, not of, of their own. I know what you mean. Yeah. And the women? The women are in Capernaum helping James and John's father start a new olive oil business to help support the ministry. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Thomas and Raymond? What about them? How did you know there was interest in betrothal? I have eyes, haven't I? <laughs> I saw they were in love at the wedding. Mm -hmm. 
I thought we should just have their ceremony after Asher and Ceres. Will he ask for her father's blessing? Yes. Do you bless it? I would love to see them betrothed. Mm -hmm. They are both faithful followers. So, are you ready for tomorrow? So many people have told me they can't wait to see you. Oh, and guess who is in town? I couldn't tell you. Lazarus and the sisters. What? No. <laughs> they got in today. They figured it was a good opportunity oh. to see you. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, La I haven't seen Laz in a while. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that would be fun. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to go to bed, you know? Of course. Ima. Yes. I'm going to need the box while I'm here. Do you know where it is? No. Are you sure this is your last time here before? I believe my time is coming. I don't know that I'm ready. I know how you feel. But you also know that I must do the will of him who sends me. Does it have to be so soon? Are you sure? If not now. Hmm. The cry music's coming. I miss your father the most during celebrations. Me too. He had so much fun. <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be a fun day. Yes. Yes, it is. The box is near your bed. You'll see it. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll clean up. You go to bed. I can help you. No, no, no. I, I've got it. You go to bed. Still feels small.
Is that a bridle, right? For the donkey, I'm guessing? Or am I wrong? It's a bridal. I don't know the last time I celebrated the New Year in Nazareth. Four years. But who's keeping track? <laughs> we might be poor, but we celebrate better than those other towns you've been in. Don't deny it. It's good to be home. <laughs> really? Jesus! Dinah! <laughs> I didn't know you'd be here. We decided to make the trip just yesterday. Oh, well, correction. <laughs> Dinah decided to make the trip. I had little choice in the matter. <laughs> Oh, gosh. But it is true. Jesus, I didn't know you'd be here. I apologize. For what? You'll get questions about the wedding, no doubt. Oh. I've told some people about what happened. Although a few had already heard. Yes, don't be surprised if some people run out of wine on purpose <laughs> just to see what you will do. <laughs> well, that was for a special occasion. I know, yes. I know. Oh, it's so good to see you both. <laughs> Oh, I was wondering when this was coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shalom. Shalom, Lazarus. <laughs> Mary, Martha, good to see you. It's been a while. Shalom. 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 Mary, come with me. We've got the spot. Rafi, take Jesus' food. We'll set it up there. Okay, let me get this body for I guess I am taking your food. All right, then. Thank you so much. I'll come by later. It's good to see you again. You too, Rafi. <laughs> so many things to catch up on. You're here for how long? Uh, not long. I came by to grab a couple of things. I wanted to see Ima, celebrate a bit, go to the service. Well, now that we are here, maybe you can stay a little longer. We are staying in a great place. You should stop by. Maybe. So, you look good. Thank you. Seems like this rabbi thing is starting to treat you well. <laughs> Still no home, though, huh? I have all that I need. Years ago, I tried to get him to join me in the business in Bethany. Turned me down. Just wanted to be a craftsman. <laughs> well, first wanted to be a craftsman, and then a rabbi. Uh, he didn't need me, obviously, so... But we would have had so much fun. True. I'll give you credit, though. You never wavered. You did what you set out to do. And being a rabbi like you are, with the lack of schooling you got? Amazing. So are you really doing miracles? Mary, be delicate. I just asked. Forgive Mary for being, well, for being Mary. But as is her custom, she puts into words what we are only thinking. Is what we're hearing true? Well, that depends on what you're hearing and from whom. I am hearing that you turn water to wine, healed hunters in places like Syria, and that you recently preached to thousands some sermon people are still talking about. And that you made a bunch of friends in Samaria, <laughs> which we'll need to talk about. We're making a bunch of enemies in places that we actually like, and not unimportant enemies. Am I missing anything? Not bad. Come on. I know everyone, and I hear everything. You know that. So it's true. You are the greatest rabbi who ever lived. Well, there's still a lot of work to be done. <laughs> still with the humility. I love it. We're also hearing that some are saying, and you're not denying. Mary, not now. I uh, do want to ask, mm. and we can do this privately if you like. Rabbi Benjamin, Leah, shalom. Shalom, oh. Lazarus girls. Jesus, welcome home. Leah, good to see you. Rabbi Benjamin, how long has it been? Jesus, 
Well, many here are very excited that you're visiting Jesus. So much being said. I was just telling him that. Everyone is talking about Nazareth's big success story. And it's not me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you hearing, Leah? Oh, all kinds of rumors that you're becoming quite a popular rabbi, with some having seen you speak to thousands and even perform signs and wonders. Gossip, of course, comes with it. And even Hannah told me that you claim to be the Messiah. And I said, not the humble Jesus I know. But here, Jesus, have some apples and honey, your skin and bones. Apples and honey, of course. To a sweet new year. May these days before Tishrei be as sweet as this food. For you as well. Uh, Rabbi Benjamin, with all the excitement about Jesus being here, wouldn't he be the perfect man to read the scripture and share the instruction in tonight's service? Oh, that's a great idea. You were telling me you hadn't prepared yet for... Well, I was planning this afternoon. Well, he, he, he is a rabbi now. Yes, I'm aware. I know he was not your favorite student. And I, I know he did not go to Bet Madrash and that he teaches as a rabbi in his own way. All and right, Lazarus. <laughs> he understands. We celebrate the creation of the world today, and that's fine. But tonight and Rosh Hashanah will be more serious. Yes, you have never loved the fun stuff beforehand. But as much as we love your interpretations, Rabbi, it would be lovely if everyone got to see how much Jesus has learned from your teaching. They might encourage the children to pursue a similar path. Yes? Jesus, what do you think? I would be happy to, as long as Rabbi Benjamin is comfortable. I suppose there could be value in hearing what Adonai has been revealing in the scriptures to you. Then it's settled. So wise and humble of you, Rabbi Benjamin. Everyone will appreciate it. Uh, Jesus, do you think you can come up with something impactful on short notice? We'll see. Can't wait. All right, I need to get this man into a Trigon game and get him some more food. <laughs> I'll see you tonight. Shalom. 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 You are something, you know that? I know. You're still causing trouble with Rabbi, and I'm still getting blamed. Ah, you love seeing him annoyed as much as I do. Come on, let's get in a quick game. We have to. Yes, we have to. Shalom, my friends. I hate to break up the fun. But it's time for me to start embarrassing you. And for us all to embarrass Jesus. <laughs> Not necessary. We're just about to finish up. John has four, Rafi has three, and I have two, and John's playing awful. He's gonna lose any moment. All right, Aaron, because we are both in from out of town and you can play this whenever. Allow Jesus and me to finish the game. Hmm? I'll play for Rafi. Jesus will play for you. And I'll still win. Thank you, friend. Uh -huh. Have you gotten any better since last time? I don't know. So you don't know? I haven't played since last time. What? Come on, this won't take long. I'll win fast. But I'll, I'll win for Rafi, and we'll be on our way. Give the guest a moment. Remember, catch with your left, and at least make the throws fast. John just needs to drop one, and it's over. No promises. All right, here we go. Ready? Right, easy. <laughs> that didn't take long. At three. Uh, okay, that's fine. It's just it was there, and then it. Anyway, <clears throat> shaking the dust off. It's been a few years. It shows. We're fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Everyone's fine. Okay. Nice catch. Nice. No reach. That's a no reach. That's four. That is four. I apologize, Aaron. Perhaps we should have refused Lass's offer. It's fine. It's fine. I, just focus. Maybe we can get John on this one and get second place? Lazarus has clearly been practicing. I don't need it. Let's go. Three, four, four. Here we play. Catch, finally. Oh. 
Wow. Yes. That is the game. Thank you. That is the game. Very good. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. Not my strength. Clearly. But all of you, do not be late for tonight. Jesus is handling the reading and interpretations. That's his strength. This was just to humble him beforehand. It wasn't necessary, though. It worked. It was. <laughs> so, uh, I look Shalom. forward. Shalom, friend. Shalom. Shalom. You're home, sir. <laughs> That's low. <laughs> ah, well, thanks for that. I trust it was very satisfying for you. A little. Mm. A little. We still have a lot to talk about. But I expect some answers from you about everything that has been going on by tonight. Well, be careful what you ask for. And we go this way. Oh, it's going to be good. This is going to be good. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who kept us alive and sustained us for another year, who bestows kindness, restores and redeems. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, sovereign over creation, who has chosen us from all the peoples. May your blessings be upon all who seek you earnestly. Bring joy to your land and gladness to your city. In your mercy, bestow on us a prosperous year, a bountiful harvest, and the promised arrival of Mashiach, your anointed one, the son of David. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the call to repentance and rest. And now for the reading and interpretation, we have with us Jesus Bar Joseph. He was one of my students in Torah class, and we've heard reports, some of them very positive, of his <laughs> rabbinic journey. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, Rabbi Benjamin. Peace. No, it's not easy to share in front of Nazareth's most preeminent rabbi, but I'll do my best. And I'm certain that uh, if I miss a word or two, one of you at least will speak up, huh? Oh, don't worry. I wonder who it will be. A reading from the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to the opening of the prison for those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. The fulfillment of this scripture, as you have heard it, is today. This is the year of the Lord's favor. This is a year of jubilee, a year of the poor, the brokenhearted, the captive, and the blind are offered redemption. Here, now. 
We are with you. Keep going. Not bad for a carpenter's son, yes? <laughs> I mean, especially Joseph. May he rest in peace. Jesus, please explain why you stopped the reading before Isaiah spoke of the day of vengeance of our God, especially during a time of such oppression. The day of vengeance is in the future. I'm not here for vengeance. I'm here for salvation. Oh, you're here for salvation. What are you saying? You know what I'm saying. This year of Jubilee, this year of the Lord's favor, is not about release from financial debts. I'm here to provide release from spiritual debt. We're the chosen seed of Abraham. We don't have spiritual debt. Jesus. Yes, sir. We've been hearing about the signs and wonders. And now this? Are you claiming to be more than a rabbi? More than even the baptizer? No doubt one of you will quote me the proverb, Physician, heal yourself. The things we heard you did in Capernaum and in Syria, do here in your hometown. Yes? Why not? I get it. It's always easier to accept hard truths and even greatness from strangers than from those you know well, especially those you knew as awkward teenagers or even as adults, as some of you saw earlier today. Last year would make a more believable prophet. <laughs> but this brings up an important truth. No prophet is acceptable in his hometown. Be careful with what you call yourself. This should be easy to prove. Dina and Rafi, you say you saw it, yes? Yes. Yes, we saw it, but... He did not claim this. A true prophet from Adonai would not deny his own people's signs and wonders. Listen carefully. When a great famine hit Israel during the days of Elijah, three years and six months, there were many widows, yes? And we know how the Father cares for his chosen people, especially widows. But Elijah was sent to none of them. Not a one. Instead, he was sent to a widow in Sidon, in Zarephath, a Gentile woman. Martha, what happened? She gave up her last flour and oil for one more cake and gave it to Elijah. Why would she do that? Elijah told her the Lord said to do so. Yes. The Lord said, that he would make it so that her flour and oil would never run out. And she believed. A pagan Gentile in a pagan land. And she was hungry enough to know she needed God and to obey him. And so God sent Elijah to multiply her food forever. What about Elisha? And Naaman. There were many lepers in Israel during this time, but none of them were cleansed except Naaman. Only a Gentile, a Syrian soldier, an enemy of the Lord's people. But he was so desperate, he trusted Elisha, and his leprosy was cleansed. You may be the chosen seed of Abraham. You may be the people of the covenants, but that will not bring you my salvation. If you cannot accept that you are spiritually poor and captive in the same way that a Gentile woman and a Syrian leper recognize their need If 
if you do not realize that you need a year of the Lord's favor, then I cannot save you. Who do you think you are? This is what Hannah talked about. That he even called himself the Messiah. Are you claiming to be the Messiah? Or are you merely claiming to speak for the Lord as a prophet? Yes. You are a false prophet. <gasps> well, there is quite a thing to say. Jesus, maybe we should leave. Lazarus, you're his friend. You cannot be involved. You know what the law of Moses says. We are all his friends, Aaron. We cannot say things like this. Jesus, stand up at once. Rabbi, please. Rafi, come with Jesus and me. No. We will leave, and you can all continue the service. Rabbi Benjamin has asserted false prophecy. And I cannot argue. You said you saw the miracle. He's saying only he can save he us. He did not use those words. It's what I meant. Jesus, you're not helping. Stop. He's saying we are not the Holy Ones chosen. Now he did not say that. In words, a book of Moses. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name that I have not commanded him to speak, that same prophet shall die. Rabbi Benjamin, I beg of you, not this. Lazarus, it's fine. Jesus, they're going to... Jesus, if you do not renounce your words, we will have no choice but to follow the law of Moses. I am the law of Moses. Oh, Jesus bar Joseph. Because you have repeatedly prophesied falsely and have offered no denial or renouncement of your blasphemous claims, there is no need to escalate this to the authorities. Do you stand by all that you said? I think I was pretty clear. Your father, may he rest in peace, was a righteous man. Your mother is a good woman. We take no pleasure in the shame you are bringing to their name, nor the grief this will bring upon Mary. But as from the law of Moses, whose life and words you have spat upon today, your sentence is death.
was intense. Ah, I felt like I was holding my breath that entire scene. Wow, so good. I think that was the best scene so far from any episode, any season. And yes, that was in the Bible. They tried to put him off the cliff. He has sent me to heal the Brook King. Mm -hmm. Broken. Broken. Then what? He, he are... Sound it out. All the letters, huh? He are... T t t Good. Now, say it quickly. Hearted. Hearted. Now, one word. Huh? Broken hearted. What does that mean? A heart that is broken. But um, not the heart in your chest. It is what makes you um, happy or sad. Broken heart means being sad or hurt. Someone who um, needs help. Sad or hurt. Someone who needs help. Keep going. To proclaim, proclaim liberty. Good. Here, quick. Hold this for me, eh? Huh? I can help? Yes, come. All right. You need to learn how to do this well, huh? The men in our family can strike a nail through in one swing. Eh, maybe two, huh? I will allow you two swings on your first try. Now, you won't always be doing carpentry like me. You will be a craftsman of stone and other materials, not just wood. Why, Abba? Because there is not much wood around here. This is a place of rock and stone. <laughs> I picked the wrong business, eh? <laughs> All right. You don't use your whole big arm to swing, eh? Just this part, the bottom half. You just swing from the elbow. That way, you have more control. See? Now, I will hold the nail steady so you don't hurt yourself, and you can swing. What if I hurt your hands? Oh, you have great talent like your Abba. You will be fine. Go ahead. Oh! No. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, I'm just joking, eh? Look what you did there. Halfway. Very good. Hey, I'm sorry, huh? Your goofy Abba cannot help it. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Jesus, I have something very special to show you. Huh? Go grab that box over there, in the corner. Yes, that one. Thank you, my son.
Listen carefully. Eh? This is a mule's bit and bridle. Now, you have seen them before, but this one is very special. Thousands of years ago, when our people were finally set free from slavery, as they were leaving, one of our ancestors from the great tribe of Judah used this very bitten bridle to lead his mule laden with supplies out of Egypt. Of course, the mule eventually died, and everything was lost to the wilderness. But this was in his hand when he escaped, so he kept it. The men in our family have handed this down to each other for 40 generations as a remembrance of our bondage. But more importantly, Jesus, in remembrance of being led to freedom into the promised land. It's old and it's not beautiful, but my father handed it to me to own as I am handing it to you. We always joked, who knows, maybe one of us will need it one day. I do not suppose you will bear a son. So maybe it will end its journey with you. But I cannot leave this earth without passing it on. Thank you, Abba. Jesus, I know I am not your father in the same way that your friends' fathers are. We've talked about this, you understand? But the privilege and the blessing of stewarding your life here on earth for the short time that I was granted, it is the greatest honor and gift I could ever ask for. I pray that I have done right by you, Jesus. Hmm? Jesus! I'm here, Ima. I was so scared. I said that would be fine. It's not that time yet. Thank you. It's got everything. Plus some food. Oh, good. Well, that was interesting. Didn't want to tell me before today? It wasn't time. Are we gonna get a chance to talk about it more anytime soon? Great. Well, let me know. Don't worry. I had to say what I did today. I know it was frightening, but even they must hear it. I know. But why come here? I wanted to see it one last time. I'm not coming back here, obviously. Next Rosh Hashanah, 
come to Bethany. Emma, you should leave for a bit as well. Until things calm down. Tell the boys you can go to Bethany. Martha and Mary will be so excited. I was remembering when he gave this to me. I remember. There's no turning back now. Not after today. I know. What is the bridal for? You'll know soon enough. I want to thank you for doing this live stream. Oops. Hold on. Wow. Wow. The Chosen is so good. What did you guys think of that episode? Let me turn on all my little stuff here. There we go. Chat. Oh, my eyes feel like they're... They feel like they're watering a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, my allergies here were kicking up. How did you guys feel about that episode? I almost cried about five times. It was so good. So, so, so good. They end on the best parts. I'm like, don't end. Man, that was probably one of, that was probably my favorite episode so far of the three seasons I've watched. Those of you that are asking, is it 100% biblically accurate every single thing? It's not. And in the very beginning, season one, they talk about how there's extra biblical things, but nothing goes against the harmony of scripture. So it's not 100% biblically every single thing in the show is in the Bible, but it is biblically accurate in the sense that it doesn't go against the harmony of scripture or there's nothing that's anti-biblical on it. So if you're wondering, that's that. You're like, well, where's the bridal part in the scripture? It's again, extra biblical. It's a show. And there's creative, uh, Dallas Jenkins, who's an evangelical Christian, is the only one with creative authority in the show. So you're like, Mormons made it and people spamming that in the chat. It's not made by Mormons. Dallas Jenkins has said it over and over. He's the only one with creative authority and he's an evangelical Christian. So again, there's extra biblical elements like that. It's a show. It's not never claimed to be a 100% line by line, biblically accurate show. Um, so for those of you wondering, amazing it's on i think it's on everything i think it's on netflix i watched it on angel studios it's on VidAngel. it's on the chosen app you can watch it on the chosen app you can watch it on angel the angel studios website you can watch it on VidAngel. i think it's also on netflix just google watch the chosen it's, it's very easy to google it everybody knows how to use google and you'll find it there it's called creative license uh no not creative license creative authority uh, he dallas jenkins is the one that's giving the creative authority on the show not not creative license but he's actually the one doing the creativity and the other directors and producers have no creative authority um but there's not it's not like a license thing the chosen app it's free yes it's free great acting yes man that was so good when he was in the synagogue teaching oh man you you don't really think about these things and then you watch it and it just makes it come alive and you start thinking about these things so good pure flicks has it as well yes Someone said, don't add or take away. It's not the Bible. This is not the Bible. We don't watch the show as a supplement for the Bible. This is a show. So just for the record, they're not claiming to be the Bible. If, it, if they were claiming to be the Bible and say, this is the word of God, this shows the word of God, then you shouldn't add or take away. But you can't say don't add or take away when it's about a, a show. So again, it's not word for word. This is not claiming to be the Bible. 
This is not supplement. You don't watch this instead of reading the Bible. This is a, this is a, you know, an add on thing. That's a really, really good show. And again, if you're convicted, like, oh, I'm convicted to watch it, then don't watch it. Go back to watching your Spider-Man movies. Okay. Cause some of you that are in line for hours to watch Marvel hours to watch whatever show you're watching at the theater. And then there's a Christian show that's made. Cause we cry about, oh, there's no Christian shows. And then they make a Christian show. And then you guys still cry about it saying, oh, well, it's not at this or that. So like, look, if we're going to ask for Christian shows to be made, we shouldn't cry about them when they're made. This is much better to me than the Avengers Endgame or Spider-Man or Dr. Strange or whatever movies you guys are out there watching. So I, I enjoy it. And if you don't, then don't watch it. It's super, super simple. Don't enjoy it. Don't watch it. Convicted about it. Don't watch it. Have something bad to say. Go say it somewhere else. Like it's not hard to get at all. It's not hard to get at all. I just don't like how people cry and complain when they've been begging for a Christian show to be made. They're like, well, he didn't say that exactly. Well, again, didn't claim to be a word for word of the Bible. Merry Christmas. If I didn't make people mad there, Merry Christmas. What a great day to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We all know he was not born today, but it's a great time to celebrate his birth and what he's done for us on the cross. I love Jesus so much. Julie, so do I. I love him so much as well. I'm, gl I'm glad you said that. I like the series. I love the series as well. I love the series as well. It's really good. I've watched season one, two, and now we're watching season three, and I love it. I'm enjoying it. I think it's awesome. Eventually, we'll have Dallas Jenkins on, on the show some, at some point. Every Grinch can leave the chat. Amen. Amen. It's super simple. If you're going to say something negative or rude, just don't say it. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. Go back to watching. Yeah, exactly. Go go watch Spider-Man then. I don't, I don't get it. Love the series. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Everyone's saying we love you, Jesus, now. So that's cool. Is it snowing where you're at? Let me know if there's snow. I'm like... I need to go see the snow. We're going next week, actually. So next week, we have no streams. I'm taking the week off to celebrate and to hang out with my family and to celebrate the coming of the new year and everything else. And so we will be doing no stream next week, no Monday, no Tuesday. I don't know if I'll be posting content. I'll for sure be posting short videos, but I don't know if we'll have any long form videos or what's going to happen. And then we will be flying my wife and I on Friday to Tennessee to Mount Juliet. And then we're going to be having the New Year's conference with uh, Pastor Greg Locke. He's hosting it at Global Vision Bible Church. Daniel Adams, Mike Signorelli, Alexander Pagani myself and it's going to be a really good time that'll be New Year's if you're in Tennessee in the area or you want to fly in get there it starts at five o'clock on Saturday we'll be bringing in the New Year's with deliverance revival miracles the power of God and then Sunday we'll be there Sunday morning we're flying home and then our first stream of the year is going to be January 2nd on Monday night that'll be the first stream of the year and we'll be talking about the next year the new studio that we're building which we do need help with financially so I don't, I know I said I'm not going to do a GoFundMe page. I'm on the, how do I say this? I'm on the, uh, I don't know, say Verge or I'm on, I'm teetering between whether I'm going to make like a, a GoFundMe page or not, because I did not expect this studio to be so expensive to build. I did not expect that we were going to be spending like upwards of 30,000 plus on cameras, lighting, furniture, carp rugs, sound panels, sound dampening, microphones, sound boards, computer, monitor, television. Uh, there's a lot of stuff and so we're looking at like thirty to fifty thousand dollars right now to get everything that we're trying to get So I don't know what we're gonna do I'm gonna talk to my wife about it and see what we're gonna do But if we don't do a GoFundMe just help support the ministry with the links down below so that we can get the studio together We are working on a brand new studio I will still have this studio and everything I'm doing here But we'll be adding an in-person podcast studio and we're gonna be not only building one set for in-person sit down on a couch podcast and content and reaction and having family on and doing interviews and doing Q and A's, having a real personal type content that's not just in this type of studio, but then we're also gonna be building another set with like a desk sit down two person podcast style. So it all costs money. Now, let me say this. I'm not uh, taking up an offering or asking for any money tonight or anything like that. But all I will say this, if you look at a church and you see all the fancy lights all the screens, all the cameras, the lights, the building, everything, all of that did not magically appear, okay? The way the church is able to fund and to build the lights and the studios and the cameras and the screens and the chairs that you sit in and put the air condition on and put the heater on and buy the building, that's all finances that people are giving to the church. We are not a church, okay? If you did not know, I am not a church. We are not a 501c3 church uh, that you're giving to. We are a solo ministry that's trying to do everything that we're trying to do without the 
the funding of having a huge church. So the idea that, oh, you shouldn't give to online speakers or YouTubers or Christian content makers, okay, somebody has to pay for all the stuff that we're trying to do. There's there's finances involved. Um, so yeah, that's where that's at. But again, people are like, they'll give to the church, but be like, you shouldn't give to preachers or traveling ministers. But it's like, hey, we're trying to do all this stuff for the kingdom and we can't do it without people giving and help. I don't have an extra thirty to fifty thousand dollars sitting around to just go buy and build a studio. So that's kind of where we're at with that. But we'll we'll think about it, talk about it. We may launch it in the first stream of the year, or we may not. I don't know. I'll talk to my wife, look over our finances and everything that we're doing. And if we have what it takes, we won't. But if we need the help, we'll make a GoFundMe. I will not apologize for that. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm sorry for doing that. There'll be no apologies for it. If you want to give, you can. If you don't, you can just stay for free. You can keep enjoying all the content. If you don't give a dollar, the content's still going to be made. So that's the beauty of it. If you don't want to give, you don't have to. But if you do, you can. So we appreciate it. All right. Love your work. We need to keep preaching New Zealand. Let's go. Blessings, everyone. Merry Christmas. Have a blessed, prosperous year. I speak against snow. Why do you speak against snow? I'm, oh, because it's snow. Is it snowing where you're at? Is that why you speak against snow? What does the chosen app do? Uh, does very well is to bring Jesus alive. It makes the Bible. Yeah, it makes the Bible. You can see it. You can experience it. I really, really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Why worry? God will provide. Of course, He will. And we're not worried. We're not stressed at all. If we were worried, we would have did a GoFundMe two, three weeks ago when we started ordering stuff and working on this studio. Jesus will provide. Amen. He will, and he always does. The snow is beautiful. I just want to see the snow. I don't want to live in the snow. We're going to go next week and find some snow because I just want to touch the snow. Just like two, three hours, and I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I don't want to live in it. I definitely don't want to live in the snow. If you had to shovel snow, you'd understand why why no snow wanted. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it, Denise. If you're in the snow, shoveling the snow, then I get why you're like, I don't want the snow. I, I make sense. Isaiah Salty today what does that mean joe salty you mean snowy i'm going to hakado i don't know what that is i don't know what that is when are you coming to texas i don't have any dates as of right now in texas i'm gonna stream for like we've been live for an hour i'm gonna stream for a couple more minutes and then i'm getting off go be with the family hope everyone's having a great christmas with family and friends hope you had a great church service listen if your church canceled service today, I'm not going to say anything about it. Okay, I'm not going to get on my soapbox here and rant and rave. We had a great church service. But if we're going to say Christmas is about celebrating Jesus' birth and then we cancel church on Christmas Day, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not going to say anything about it, okay? I'm not going to say anything about it. Church was awesome today. It was amazing. You worked today? Oh, man, sorry to hear that. Thank you for sharing this. You're welcome. I enjoy watching this with you guys. So next Sunday, which will be New Year's, I will not be in California. So I will not be watching The Chosen here. So what we're going to do, and you can do it with us if you want, next Sunday when The Chosen releases, we won't be here. We're going to stream Monday, our first stream of the year. Tuesday, our first podcast of the year. And then Wednesday, we will watch The Chosen at 4 o'clock. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me think. We'll do it at 4 o'clock because a lot of you have church at like 6 o'clock. Well, if you're in the East Coast, you're going to probably miss it. But we'll probably do Wednesday at 4, The Chosen, to catch up so that we can watch it again on Sunday and be all caught up. So again, we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work, okay? We're going to make it work. Snowing here in Michigan. I've been seeing a lot of people post that they're snowed in. They open their door. It's complete snow. I know there's like a snowstorm going on throughout the throughout the country. Wednesday at 4. Yeah, it'll probably be Wednesday at 4 most likely, okay? Because we have to keep, you know, keep it up. Which person of the Trinity should we pray to? It doesn't matter. I pray to the Holy Spirit. I pray to Jesus. I pray to the Father. Boss Prophet, when are you coming to South Africa? Eh, I don't know. I don't know when I'm coming to South Africa in the future. Freezing in Texas. I need more blankets. When's your testimony coming out for Delafe on Thursday? I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I think that I don't think they care. On Thursday, my testimony will be coming out on Delafay Testimonies YouTube channel. So yeah, that's going to be a good time. That will be on Thursday. My testimony is releasing. How's your dad? My dad's doing good. Thank you for praying. It was a miracle. They were going to amputate his finger. They were going to amputate it right here, right below the knuckle. 
and they were about to go into surgery and he asked the doctor like is there anything you can do to, we're praying we're christians we're believing for god to heal and the doctor said okay let's not amputate it let's just i know it sounds graphic but scrape the bone of the infection so my dad had surgery last week they scraped the infection off the bone we're praying it doesn't come back i think he's going to be on he has like a pick line so he's going to be on antibiotics for about a month and a half and then they'll decide what they're going to do but we're praying and praying and praying he doesn't lose his finger so thank you for praying for my dad keep praying for my dad he's doing much better is your studio going to be at your house no the new studio is going to be at a different location actually at another house so it'll be at a different house that we'll be doing that will be for the studio and we have a space that we're going to be using to build the new studio in but it will not be at my my residence my house i don't have the extra room to build the size of studio that we want to build and what we want to do because we need i'm in right now like in, in a bedroom okay so i made a turn the bedroom into an office slash studio we need like multiple couches a setup for at least minimum of four people and the whole thing so yeah i don't i don't have it can't it can't just be like a bedroom put it that way any florida plans the only plans i have right now guys are new year's in tennessee and january 22nd in arizona and you can find that on my website i have another event in january that is sold out so i won't even talk about it because it's sold out so there's no point in announcing it because you can't go there's no there's no room left there but so i so i won't even mention it all right three minutes and we're gonna get off here there was uh, i didn't know those three marys there was a bunch of marys there was actually more than three mary of bethany i believe mary magdalene mary jesus's mother um and like two or three other marys i don't know there's a bunch of marys in scripture there's a bunch of herods there's a bunch of marys there's several there's a bunch of johns there's several matthews there's a, a bunch of different names of people that are multiple times in scripture. Don't can't say them all off the top of my head. How do you feel about the actor that played Jesus being a Catholic? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. He's an actor. Uh, I don't care that he's Catholic. I don't like watch a movie and be like, oh, if this guy's not a spirit filled Christian, then he can't portray the, the role. If he's an, if he's a Catholic, I mean, he's acting, right? So he's an actor when are you going to be preaching in stockton with pastor rj i'll be preaching at my own home church in stockton on january i'm sorry february 19th february 19th maybe sooner but right now it's february 19th so i will be preaching in arizona january 22nd january 29th pastor mike signorelli will be preaching at life song at my home church so Pastor Mike Signorelli will be preaching all four services January 29th, and then I'll be preaching at my church February 19th. So I was going to do February 5th, but then it's that's going to be like three or four weekends straight in a row. So we're trying to space some of it out. Yeah, I don't have a problem with him being Catholic. I mean, again, he's an actor. It's, it's not like he's Jesus. I don't watch the show and be like, oh, this is Jesus. I look at the show and like, oh, he's an actor portraying Jesus. The episode went quickly it did i i when i watch the show show i'm not i just want to see jesus i just want to see the character of jesus so that's that whole episode was mostly jesus i enjoyed it the episodes where it's like five minutes of jesus 55 minutes of the other characters i'm kind of like uh i'm just trying to see jesus all right guys i've had an amazing day amazing time with family i'm gonna get off now and go spend more time with the family i love you guys i appreciate you guys I just want to jump on here, do this stream, stay stay in like uh, in sync with the chosen episodes, and then we'll be live. Not this week. We're going to take this week off. Next week, starting the new year, Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night, and Friday night, we'll be live four times. Coming back to the new year, we'll be in Tennessee. Go from there to our first live of the year, and then we'll do the first podcast of the year. And then we're going to roll. We're going to be working on the studio, and we have a bunch of other stuff planned. We're going to go really, really hard next year. We've had an amazing year. I'll give a recap next week. Um, it's been a really good time. I also have my first article ever published in Charisma Magazine for January, February edition. It just came out. I'll post that tomorrow so you can see that article in the magazine. But yeah, I have to do a book in 2023, guys. I have to do it. No more pushing it off. No more waiting another year. I just, I just have to do it. You guys got to hold me accountable. I got to get a book done in 2023. We got to get the new studio done, which we'll have that done hopefully in January because I'm trying to like, you know, when I get on something, my personality is the moment something new started, we got to get it done. So when I start writing my book, 
I'll probably finish it, I'm guessing, in like a week or a few days. Because once I get on something, I just go, 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 go. I just got to get on the book. I got to get on, do the studio. We got to get on doing a Spanish channel and just continuing to advance the kingdom of God. And it's going to be a good year. It's going to be the best year ever, I believe, in Jesus' name. Every year is a better year because we go from glory to glory. So I'm believing that 2023 is going to be way better than 2022. And we had an absolutely amazing, amazing year. So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I will see you for the first stream of the year, Monday the 2nd. That will be next Monday, not this Monday, but next Monday the 2nd. It's going to be an amazing year. I love the support. I appreciate the support. I love you guys. I just really appreciate all the support, all the help, all the of you that give that are, enable us to do this full time and everything that we're doing. I don't know what we're going to do about the funds for the studio yet. I will figure it out and then we will let you know whether we're going to do like a GoFundMe or not. We don't know yet, but we're going to figure it out. I really appreciate and love you guys. I will see you guys that Monday. All right. Good night. If I could find my stream ending screen, I should probably set a button for this. All right. Good night, guys. Love you guys. Have a good one. Merry Christmas to everybody. Love you guys. Take care. Good night. Good night, everybody.